Hi, it's Constant Angler. Uh, come fishing. I've been down to Cornwall today. Uh, we had a brief visit because uh, we had joint problems. My knee was giving me a bit of jip and uh, my mate's uh, joints playing up as well. Uh, it was more of a recce trip than anything. We had a look around, found some other spots, places we couldn't park, places we could park, uh, places we have a go at another day. Got home and I yeah, a little bored and dejected and thought, Do you know what? I don't care what the tide is, I'm just going to nip down my local spot, give it a whirl, tide's up, fairly aisle, might be worth a shot. So, I've come in today, I did catch a ras in Cornwall, so I need a small one and I missed a bite or two. Small fish, but my mate managed the three pounder, so it wasn't a waste of time. And we know where to go next time. So I've put a Savage Gear rib worm on now in the citrus and green colour, a bit more action going to cycle through some different lures if this doesn't get out I'm going to stick a pink lure on uh, if that doesn't do out I'll try a, a dark blue lure uh, well that don't work we're going to move we'll see just just feels good for a bite now I'm surprised if I don't uh, oh got one yeah one under my feet. Yeah, he isn't huge, but he's a fish. There he is down there on the rib worm, right in tight. I said sometimes they associate with structure, don't I? These rib worms are a hell of a lure. He's only little. Nice colours, though. There we go. They're up in tight to structure. That was down in a little pocket there. Probably a fish I missed the other day. I had a bite from the other day. So I'm not getting too excited about I'm going to catch hundreds, but we'll see. Nice wrasse all the same. Little beauty of a wrasse, caught on a Savage Gear rib worm in a citrus and green pumpkin sort of colour. I will put the actual colour of it. Beautiful colours on these fish. He's all right in this little rock pool here. We won't keep him long. Come on then, mate. So let's release him. Quite a nice fish that. Not big fish, covered in lice interestingly. Um, and it makes you wonder, obviously things are warming up or I don't know, what do you know about wrasse and lice? He's got a lot on him. Uh, has he been laid up? Is that why he's covered in lice? Who knows? Let's get him down there. Well, he's a little bit bigger than I thought, but he's not a big wrasse at all, is he? Let's see if we can't reverse the net and where he goes one wrasse. Sometimes you see a lure and you just know it will catch you fish. And that, that's how I feel about these Savage Gear sand eels. I just know they will catch me fish. They just work. If there's fish around, they'll have a go. It's a bit like um, the Rooney's Neds and my pintails. Um, you know, I won't go fishing without a Rooney's Black glitter Ned or Tart Ned in uh, my tackle box, and um, I wouldn't go fishing without these at the moment. They they seem to catch me catch fish for me when there aren't any. Chuck just over here. You, you get bites very quickly because you've literally dropped it on the heads. I had a little fish pick that up, and look, he's pulled at the bait. I'll try that again because he may have been a bigger fish, but I saw my light tighten, didn't feel a stun. And you can see where he's bitten it. Right there. Oh shit bag, he was lucky he did get there at point. Not what he won, there's a bigger one. So that was interesting, wasn't it? I can see it just one tiny little clear area. No bigger than a bin lid if there's a bite going. Yeah, something down there. Nope. <laughs> it's a little damn fish, I know it is. You can tell by the stun of the bait, is it? A t Hold up. There, see that? Did you see that? It's given chance, that's a bit bigger actually. Might be a bigger fish. But right under your feet, I just dropped that on his head, it stunned it, and now, ooh. It's about to have it, I think. I 
Don't move it, move it, move it away from it. Got it. Yeah, it's not bad fish. This, there we go. Under her feet. Okay, mate, over here. Come on, extra come. Yeah, he'd be, but geez, they pull when they're like that. Uh, yeah, little fish. I said he wasn't big, but they're gonna have to catch. Look at that, right under your feet. Oh, well, you might get some bigger ones yet. Just doing this. They love the Senko. Right, yeah. Well, he's only a little guy. Little Ballon, but then the next one that comes along might be a monster. You can never tell. Caught on the blue Senko with green glitter in the AGM stick, actually. There we go. He ain't big, but he pulled right under my feet. Let's put him back in the water. So, that fish is fine there in the net. Let's get it back anyway. Oh, let's have one little look. He's not a big fish, you know, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> if I catch a big fish, I'll tell you, but that ain't a big fish. But it is a ballon ras. It's quite pretty all the same, isn't it? We're going to put him back right where we caught him. We might try for another there, but I doubt we'll get one. But right under her feet. There'll be bigger ones down there. It uh, seems to be one in the middle at the minute. You're just glad to be catching at the moment. Big ones don't seem to be feeding. Um, I think possibly maybe they're spawning and what's going on there's probably a big one in there and this is he's being protected by this small fish and uh, who are super aggressive doing a job maybe protecting the big female um, that's one of my theories all of, for some reason you just don't get big ones and then all of a sudden you know obviously the timings will vary in your locale uh, you stop catching small ones and the big ones feeding because they want to fill up they haven't been feeding so they probably just spawned Ooh. try again but that was right in the edge there it's literally instant hit the deck boom blue single just looks like a worm to them yellow or a black single is that a bite then yeah yeah there's another one there right there might be a couple here i think we found a little nest or something that was a good thump then i got excited though i struck too early but you see what i mean i, I literally hadn't even twitched that and thumped all right, let's see. Didn't feel it before. So what do we go for this Senko? With the blue, with the green fleck, it's a great color. Or, you know, a red fleck in a lure, a dark blue lure. This is sort of a emerald blue or something like that, June bug color. Um, and the Senko, it will work for you, even when you're not doing anything with them. This one's getting a bit split now, so I expect the rat is going to nip that off in a minute. But it, it'll move in the water like this anyway. And it looks very much like a worm, doesn't it? And because of its slender profile, when I'm pitching around like this, it'll get down through gaps that maybe some other lures with appendages might not. So, let's try again. It's worth cast. There's a bite again. So you found a little pocket of a beer. Go on, hit it. It doesn't feel big, but it doesn't feel too small. Damn it. Yep, got him. Oh, no, oh, he's off. Got me bait. Draw that. That felt nice fish too at the end. Damn, 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 damn. How did he get away with so that? I just up and lost a fish that felt good. Just didn't look properly. I can see the rock I was fishing over now. The light's changed. There's a nice little rock here and a rock there. You'd only get to this on a very low tide, so this, hopefully there's a few of them sat out there. And we found a honey hole. God, bloody hard. Well, that's the way it is sometimes, isn't it? You don't always get what you deserve. No, I'm going to do something different now. See, I'll show you what I'm doing. I use this for tough baits, but if I'm getting bites like this, I've just nicked it in the side. Have a little trick for you. Alright, gone a bit to the left this time, but I think there's a few fish out there. And it's just getting the right one. Some of them don't feel particularly big, but they feel okay. It's a good initial stun. It's that range, so it's a bit hard to. The light is very tricky. Come on. A nice fish out of here will make the video. See what I mean by I'm gone six foot to the to the left, but coming up the same structure, and I haven't had a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
around cast it where I had. I found a bait that's working. It just is working this. What I might do is switch to the same profile for different colour if I don't pick another fish. Right, that should do it. Cast lower then to get a more accuracy. Alright, here we go. Come on Ras, come on. Alright, there's a, yeah, there's a bite then. He just pulled it as it settled. Come on, hit it. Maybe he's small. Oh, damn it. Threw me head in. Just knew I was going to get a bite on that cast because of where I cast it. Uh, come too far on top of the rock though. Alright, I'm going to do a switch hooks and switch bait. I'll switch bait first, then I'll switch hooks and baits. Alright, sinker wise, what do I do? Oh, I've got black, I've got blue, I'm going to go green pumpkin, chartreuse. So we've got the same profile, it's exactly the same bait, same Senko from same supplier, AGM discount fishing online, but it's a different colour and it's a laminate, so we've got contrasting colours, and these, these work great, I prefer these in the winter but they work in the summer as well. So, that's a nice cast, if the wind's gone, it's flattened off, I can cast very accurately again. Let's see if they'll go for that. There's a bite. Yeah, that's a stun. Go on, have it, pull it, do it. It's not doing it again. Mine's not. Yeah, yeah, got it. Just get it up, mate. Uh, pull it nicely. That feels a good fish. Gotta get it up through this kelp. <sighs> so if the rod angle and all that's not great, but... Oh, and he's off. It's got to be the hook. Jesus. Well, that's spooked them, isn't it? That looks sharp. <sighs> I kept the tension on. It wasn't massive, but it's a swirl out there, wasn't it? Oh, the different bait fooled it. Oh, God. Oh, you'll see it on video. That's where I'm fishing sometimes. Work your ass off, find a fish, lose one, hook another. Hmm. Don't know about that. It's pissed me off now. I'm going to stick with it. It might be even more, but I wouldn't sit. That's, that's a nice big orange grass that. That's a good good three pound at first glance, maybe bigger. So I've, all I've done is just change the hook because that's two fish I've lost to that hook. And that style of hook today it might be the way they're feeding, it might it's probably more likely just bad luck because I've caught fish on that hook, haven't I? Pointy end down, big end up. See if it's a profile, this will prove it, won't it? If I hit it now. Profile and the action on my part, maybe. Ah, that's a good cast. There you go, back to the right, right, and I got him. Come on, don't come off, you bugger. It's a good fish and it's coming through the kelp. Come on. Yeah, it's not bad fish. Not huge. Oh, I made my arm out. Oh. Yes. Shit, I worked hard for that. I didn't want to lose, but 
let's get back there and get another look for oh. oh you can see there he is a couple of pounds it's not huge but you know, I'll get him to straighten out a bit there good fish beautiful mottled colors lovely color on this one quite you know solid fish about two pounds something like that uh, he fought well, so we're going to put him back now. Let him rest there a second, just get his breath back. Let's sum up that trip then. Well, it was damn hard work. All I could find were rafts on some clear spots around my feet. Couldn't get a take anywhere else. I was using the blue uh, AGM stick base, so a blue uh, June bug, Senko. That was getting me the bites. I uh, caught, caught on a ribster to start off with, then went to the Senko, because that was getting through the cover, I needed something slim to get through the cover. We weren't worried about tail action then, it was all about the shaking in place. So that was why I chose that one. Then I was about to go. So I was thinking I'm not getting any more, the tide's way too low. And um, But I thought I'd have a speculist cast at range. I hadn't been catching anything at range, but I thought I can remember last year getting stuff here at range. I'm sure it was about now. So that's what I did. And straight away, boom, on the Senko, had a bite. Next cast, or cast after that, can't remember, hooked into a beautiful fish. I gotta look at it, it's three pound plus fish. That's all I can say, it could be bigger than that. But it was at least that, I saw it flank. I had it most of the way in. And I was using those uh, weedless worm hooks would normally have fantastic hook codes on those. And that's why I use them, especially with Senkos, because they get in their mouths easier when they're biting a bit funny. So then the white stopped. I thought I'll keep the same profile and change to the, I think it's uh, green pumpkin to the truth I put on. Same thing, four inch stick bait. Chuck that on, got another bite, missed it. Thought I need to change completely. So I went through several things, some really realistic things. I went to bright Senkos, I didn't get the bites on them. Uh, you know, the, the bellows claws, the shrimps, these shads, some really good lures that catch me fish. And no, it wasn't happening. Switched back to the watermelon citrus. I don't know whether it was straight away or pretty much straight away. Boom, caught a ras. Battery ran out on my camera just as I landed it or just after I landed it. So the rest is filmed on my, my phone. Hope it's of decent quality, probably better than the GoPro. So I hope you like the video. Uh, please check in, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. All those usual things. All helps me. Gives me the reason to carry on doing it. Cheers.